Well, despite the bold pronouncements of congressional Democrats, and of course MSNBC, which is hyperventilating even as we speak, here's what we actually know. There's still no evidence that President Trump's campaign was co-opted by Moscow and its agents. But much like a cargo cult builds runways in hopes that cargo planes will land on them, some don't believe it. For example, Congressman Eric Swalwell of California has created an entire web page chronicling Donald Trump's connection to the Russian homeland in hope that evidence Trump is a Russian agent will manifest itself eventually. Congressman Swalwell joins us now from Oakland. Congressman, great to see you. You too, Tucker. So um, I, I went to the site, which is actually pretty well done and kind of interesting. Thank you. A little, a little florid, I would say. Uh, but you have this whole section, and I'm quoting now, Russia colon not our friend. And so I wanted to ask you, how far are we willing to go with this, this new Cold War that you guys have started? I mean, where is this going to end up? Do you anticipate a conflict with Russia, a, a military conflict? If they really hacked our democracy, as you said. Why wouldn't we just attack them? I hope we don't have another conflict with Russia. And I put that section in, Tucker, because a lot of people like me, born in 1980, didn't grow up with uh, the Cold War uh, atrocities. And so I wanted to lay out post-Cold War atrocities, like what Russia has done in Ukraine. They were responsible for bringing down a commercial airliner with 300 souls aboard, yeah. like what they are doing in Syria, the human rights violations that they're committing there. So I wanted to lay out for young people that this isn't like having ties with the United Kingdom. This is like having ties with a country with a vast number of human rights uh, violations and a leader uh, who has been, res been named as being responsible for the killing of journalists. So how would it be uh, different from having ties with, I don't know, pick one, Saudi Arabia, one of our closest allies? Uh, truly one of our I'm closest. focused on Russia. That, that takes all no, my no, time no, but, right but, now, Tucker. No, 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 but I'm just wondering, since we're laying down these precedents, look, if a country mistreats journalists or if it's, uh, you know, not observant of basic human rights, I don't know, if being gay is illegal, for example, or they kill people they don't like, or they sponsor foreign wars, then we can't be their well, ally, Saudi not Arabia, our friend. Saudi Arabia is not very happy with me either because I supported uh, declassifying the 28 pages of the September 11 report uh, that had information about uh, uh, allegations involving Saudi Arabia well, and September 11th. That, that, that's your response to a country that ignores human rights and puts journalists in jail and sows discord through the world to, to no, sponsor I'm legislation to declassify? Right now, okay, uh, Tucker, I'm just saying, look, what are the rules? Us. Since you've become this yeah. big neocon, along with lots, lots of other Democrats, a cold warrior, a neoconservative. My, pa my parents would be very happy to hear you say that. Uh, but it's just, I guess, I, I'm just trying to understand what the new rules are here. So for generations, as you know, the left, the Democratic Party, was accused correctly of coddling the Russians back when it was a left-wing country. And now all of a sudden they've come back and said, the problem with Republicans is they're not worried enough about the red menace. So I'm just going forward, like, how do I know when a country is, quote, not our friend? Yeah, well, I'm living in the now, and this is a country that is not our friend right now. It's a country who attacked us in the last election. And it's a country where Donald Trump and people on his team have very deep personal, political, and financial ties. And the question that everyone wants answered is, did right. those ties extend to working with the Russians while they were attacking us? And that, I think, calls for an independent commission. Get this out of Congress, take it away from the Trump administration, and let's get to the bottom of what happened. So one of the things you, you allege here, or you really you point out, and I, I think I'm quoting, is that Russia supports the Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad, which is, of course, entirely true, and you disapprove of that. Who should we be supporting? Who should be in charge of Syria? Since this is the real world, these are actual countries, you're an actual congressman, who should we be supporting in the Syrian civil war? It's not binary. It shouldn't be Assad, and it shouldn't be ISIL. And I think so who? removing both of them from Syria would be a good thing. So nobody's in charge. It's just chaos. So, so who, should, who should we support? I mean, someone's got to run the country. It's a big country. It's a significant country, middle of the Levant. It's a big deal. Who should run it? We should support anyone that doesn't support attacking America. ISIL is attacking America, and Bashar Assad has used chemical weapons to attack his own people, and also has allowed ISIL to grow because he's a motivating force for them, and then they're able to attack America. But we don't have to solve every problem in the world. Well, I'm I don't just know. pointing you, out that Russia you brought, you brought is not our up. friend. You brought it up. You said they're not our friend because they support Bashar al-Assad in Syria, which is a place most people couldn't find on the map. And my question is, if you disapprove of that, then who should run Syria? Since, I don't know, it's obviously yeah. of interest to you. Yeah, it, there's a lot of problems in the world right now, Tucker. I'm focused on the country that attacked us, and I think okay. having an independent commission would help us get to the bottom of that. All right. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. Yeah, like thank the you, website. Tucker.